this the line for the new T-Rex Revenge video game? Yeah! Oh, Rise of T-Rex was awesome. I've been waiting ages for the sequel. Whoa, whoa. This is the line for the line. It's about the quest with your buds, not the loot. <sighs> Can you believe you've already been here three hours? Time flies when you're with your best friends. <laughs> Let's do trust falls. That looks unsafe. Rainbow Dash, I thought you couldn't make it. I finished up early. Where is everybody else? Uh, I didn't think they'd want to do this. But hey, at least you're here. And now you're gone. Oh, sorry. Sometimes things get out of hand when you're having this much fun with your best friends. <laughs> Is this yours? Turns out they do want to do this. Well, it's my turn already? Sorry, just sold the last one. Ah, oh, it's all right. I got to hang out with you guys. Who cares about a video game? Oh, that's what we were waiting for? I just thought we were having a super duper fun line party. I pre-ordered it for you weeks ago. You know what the best part of this game is? Uh, the quest? Uh, the power-ups? The revenge? It's multiplayer. Welcome to Rock Talks with Mod. Are you ready for rocks? Woo. Me too. I'm thrilled that you are here at the Canterlot Natural History Museum to learn about rocks, minerals, fossils, and last but not least, landforms. As you can see, our display is currently undergoing some metamorphic changes. It's been rocky getting this new one off the ground and we're all feeling the pressure. That's a little rock business humor for you. Ha ha. Good one, Mod! <laughs> Thank you. Minerals are classified as naturally occurring substances formed in a geological process. They feature a crystalline structure in addition to specific physical properties and chemical composition. Now for something really fun. I will point to the sedimentary rocks. There, and there, there. That one. There, and there. Ready that for one. what we planned with Mod? Mm -hmm. Let's one. do it. Thanks to the rock cycle, we also have these gems. Friction heats up rocks. Baked rock doesn't melt. It forms them into crystals. <gasps> but all of it starts with hot magma rising to the crust through volcanic pipes. You might know it as lava. Magnificent. And the process of fossilization is the reason we have these dinosaur bones. Imagine, if you will, that these colossal prehistoric beasts are walking through the museum right now. Oh. Look at that. You don't have to imagine. Dino might. As a proud member of the Mod Squad, I just wanted to ask, will you sign my geology book? for all the clubs, and it's a young farmer's club tradition to have your critter in the yearbook picture. You're lucky you're only in one club. I'm in five this year. So busy. 
Well, Young Farmers is just one of the six clubs that I'm in. Uh, oh, I meant five sports clubs. Sweeties, darling, lovies. It's not a competition. in, and it's a darn tootin' tie! Gah. You have got to be kidding me! After all that? At least between the two of us, we joined every single club at CHS. <clears throat> Not all the clubs. How did we miss that one? Uh-uh-uh, darlings. It's very exclusive. Is that my pig? Oh, well, of course. You can't expect me to be the president and the vice president. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for filling in for my babysitting emploi, Pinkie Pie. I couldn't pass up the last-minute ticket to the Young Designers Gala. Ah, no biggie-wiggy. I love kids. Oh, you're a small pink lifesaver. Toodaloo! <laughs> Welcome to the best babysitting bash on the block! I have all sorts of super fun stuff for us to do. Do you want to bake a yummy cake or make super silly hats? Or bake a silly hat cheap cake? Mm. I, I think I'll just sit quietly and read if that's okay. Oh! Okay! Boring! So, what's the story about? It. It's a, it's about a band of girl pirates who are sailing the seven seas, and one day there's a big storm and stuff. Then what happens? Um, they get stranded on a desert island. <gasps> Woohoo! Mm, desert island. <sighs> what? Yeah? No. Tell me more. Um, and then the monkeys. <laughs> And the crabs <laughs> and the birds become the pirate girl's friends and they teach them all kinds of cool tricks. Think you want a cracker? Think you want a cracker? Do you want me to read it to you? Do I? The pirates waved to their new friends on the shore as they sailed off into the sunset. They lived happily ever after. The end. <sighs> You're gonna make a terrific babysitter someday, Lily. Really. <sighs> I hope I'm as good as you. Instruments? Check. Band members? Check. check! Directions to Cousin Goldie's party? Check. Perfect. We're a little behind schedule, but if we get on the road in the next 37 seconds, we'll make it just in time to go on stage for Goldie's party. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Buckle up, Rain Boom! <laughs> The GPS has accounted for traffic. GP, what now? I don't need that ninny new fangly thingamy jiggy. I know me a shortcut. Excuse 
princess. Sorry to interrupt your lunch, but do you mind? My lemon squeezy, that's my favorite cat. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> you are my Equestria Girls. And I hope you're all prepared because final exams are in two weeks. <gasps> ah! Ah! Ugh. Don't worry, girls. We're gonna ace these finals. Hey, it's true, no stopping now. You're facing a big test. So much to do, so much to learn. So bring it, be your best. Feeling doubts, forgetting facts won't get you to the top. If you're gonna make it, you got to pull out all the stops. You got to rise up to the top of the class. Go straight to the top of the class. Rise up to the top of the class. Go straight. Is getting going to get your mind on track. Put aside all those distractions, cause there's no turning back. But you know it just gets better when you see the end in sight. Take it on, start going strong. You can get it right. You can get it right. You got to rise up. Up to the top of the class, go straight to the top of the class. Rise up. Up to the top of the class, go straight to the top of the class. You got to rise up. Earmuffs don't work. I'm now hearing everything everyone's thinking without even touching them. Is anyone else experiencing a sudden, uh, surge in their powers today? Uh... So you have. Sorry, I just heard all of your thoughts. Can't help it. Fascinating. I wonder what's causing it. Hi, guys! I just ran here from the soccer field in three seconds. Wait, hold on! I got my backpack! <laughs> Yuck, this needs mustard. Super speed is where it's at, am I right? It's like I can't stop because I've been getting so much done. Okay, I may have a theory about what's going on with our magic. 
Our geodes are all connected. So the more each of us use our magic for everyday tasks, the more all of our powers become supercharged and go haywire. Since Rainbow was using her super speed for everything, all of us experienced an uncontrollable boost. Oh! <laughs> Whoopsies. Well, so long as we use it in moderation, our magic should stay under control. And our geodes will go all glowy if it's about to get wackadoodle-doo. It seems that way. Yeah! Mm. Hey, Rainbows. There you are. Do you want to go to the mall with uh, me? I forgot I have to be at a... Uh, a thing. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I don't care anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for my, uh, hangout with Timber Spruce. First, we're gonna peruse the exhibit on gravitational fields for 13 minutes. Then we'll marvel at the vastness of the universe during the planetarium show. And finally, we'll enjoy cups of hot cocoa and casual conversation as we spot constellations in the night sky. Oh, that all sounds lovely. You sure it isn't too much for one hangout? No, it's all going to go exactly as I planned. Perfect, that is. I got something special for your big night, just in case. Aw, that's so sweet. You didn't have to. Hey, Timber. Want to go inside and see the gravity exhibit? It's really pulling me in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on account of the gravitational pull? But it says that the exhibit should be right here, next to the statue of Star Swirl. Maybe it got sucked into a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the planetarium show is about to start. All shows are canceled for the rest of the day. Oh. Hey, that's okay, Twilight. It's not the end of the world. <gasps> the telescope, come on! Oh, God! Hot, 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 hot. Ow! Oh, I'm so sorry, Thimber. Nothing's gone as planned. We got lost, the show was canceled, we burned our tongues, and now the sky's too overcast to spot a single star! And I was really hoping to impress you. Uh, <laughs> tell me about it. Now, how am I supposed to impress you by pointing out the constellations of Aquilius, Pegasus, and Cassiopeia? You know where those are? Uh. I may have done a little astronomy studying in preparation for tonight. Okay, a lot of studying. Consider me... Starstruck. Starstruck. Thank you for looking after my garden while I'm away on vacation, Twilight. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited, Spike. I even brought my own watering can. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to expand my knowledge of botany. Let's get to it. Give a little and you get a little and you care a little and it starts to show. Growing things just give it room to grow. Oh! <laughs> well, hi there, little guys. How are you doing? Give a little, cause you care a little, and you try a little, and it starts to show. Growing quick is easy when you just get some room to grow. Starting small but growing.
too? And you? Well, okay. More? Get a little easy, quite enough to satisfy. I'd like a little more. Please, can you help me? I'm a dying. Please, I'll be your best friend. You can tell me all your woes. Shuffle for just a little bit. I need some room to grow. Come on, Twilight, help me out. I'm thirsty, I need love. Over here, I need some. Hey, Lord, you don't got a show. Help us, Twilight. Oh, and Twilight, just be careful not to overwater the plants. Have fun! It's absolutely adequate. <gasps> After working here for months and months, I knew I'd finally do something to catch your eye. In a couple of days, a style scout from Canterlot City Fashion Week is visiting our shop. I need a window display with something fresh. I would like you to design and execute it. Really? <gasps> Thank you, Ms. Hemline. You will not regret this. Oh, and Rarity, don't mess up. Thank you for the opportunity! <sighs> I thrive under pressure. One does not become a diamond without pressure. It's too much pressure! <laughs> heavens will I do? I have tried everything. Fringe, appliques, cheese. The muse has left me. I'm sure you'll have an idea soon. You can't force artistic inspiration. <laughs> Another piece by the secretive street artist, Flanksy. I wonder what it's like not to want credit and praise for one's genius creations. Yeah, uh, me too. This mural is everything I want to say, but through paint instead of fabric. Uh, it looks like you found your muse again. Ah, yes. Uh, <clears throat> it's a postmodern installation piece celebrating the creative process in... Oh, who am I kidding? It's atrocious! This window's not avant-garde, it's avant-marred. Maybe there's a way we can save it. It's supposed to be finished by tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going home! Au revoir, Korea! I don't know how you did it, Rarity. But congratulations! <gasps> All right, kids, notebooks away. Quiz time! Oh, hello there, Hubert. Is everything okay? Only number two pencils, got it? Okay, begin. Oh, we'll talk after the quiz, okay? <laughs> uh, slow down, you're all talking at once. What is it? Oh, I see. If you take four from that one and divide them equally, that sounds like a solution to the problem, Reginald. Good thinking. Mr. Doodle! Yes? The honest and observant Trixie has reason to believe that Fluttershy is cheating! <gasps> yes! I saw her talking to those birds! Fluttershy, cheating is a serious offense. I swear I wasn't cheating. I was whispering to the birds because they were having an argument over sticks for their nests and... An argument? Sounds made up. No, 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 no. See, Hubert thought that Reginald was stealing from his, but I told him, surely you can tell the difference between oak and poplar sticks. Right, sweetie? <laughs> they don't know anything about math, but I studied really hard for this test. Sure you did. 
Hey, I know my stuff. So prove it then. Go on. Make my day. She's correct. Yeah! <laughs> Hello? The great and powerful Trixie needs a tutor. Which one of you knows trigonometry? Meanwhile, in Canterlot City. A whole day in the big city to do whatever we want. Oh, just think of the fashion. The food. The frolicking. That's short for frosty licking. I'm going to get my hot little hands on the new dessert trend. The puff cake. Half cream puff, half cupcake. Oh, the city is our oyster. Help! He's getting away with my jewels. Oh, the puff cakes will have to wait for justice. Jewelry back now. You didn't need to give her the jewels to impress her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but now you'll have plenty of time to think about that. From jail? Ooh. Is everything <laughs> 